John Fett, 16 years old, convicted of murder and assault at the Trang Dai Cafe massacre, in which five people were killed and five others wounded. Fett and another man were told to shoot anyone who came out of the back door, which is how 21-year-old waitress Tu Win Vo was killed. Fett is alive today. She is not. The four others killed were 26-year-old Nan Ai Win, 33-year-old Tong Hung Do, and brothers Hai Lei, 27, and Dui Lei, 25. Sun Kim and others in the Vietnamese community believed Ri Lei had been involved in home invasion robberies and burglaries. Son Kim told others Ri Lei broke into a friend's home after a wedding and stole the newlyweds' property. Kim confronted Lei and one of Lei's friends over the burglary issue, provoking a fight involving members of the Loked Out Crips gang and the Vietnamese Ghetto Boys gang. Nine people charged, and life sentences were handed out. But during one of the trials, key witness K. Sin was killed. K. Sin was to be called to testify for the prosecution in the slaying of the five Trang Dai customers and the wounding of five others. Prosecutors said Sin had been pressured by gang members connected to the massacre to change his testimony. He was fatally shot through the bedroom window of his home. And there it is. Today it has a new look, but tough memories. The Lincoln District. There's still a lot of sketchy people on this strip. Perhaps that'll never change. These were all kids. Teenagers, juveniles. And the others in their early 20s. Within two years of this restaurant massacre, three of the defendants, as well as Witness Sin, have been killed by the gang members or have taken their own lives. One defendant hanged himself in his jail cell, and another fatally shot his co-defendant brother and then himself, rather than be arrested. Prezoth Chantha originally pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 34 years for killing K. Sin. But after serving 19 years, Chantha went before a judge asking his long sentence be reduced. I would like for you to be merciful to me, he said. I agreed to take the plea deal to show you that I'm heartily sorry for the sins that I have. But also in court were Sin's brother and sister who can't believe Chantha is being given a second chance. Nevertheless, Judge Stanley Rumbaugh said he was swayed by Chantha's rehab efforts and getting his GED in prison, so he reduced the sentence by three years, down to 31. The judge also acknowledged John Fett's chaotic and traumatic childhood, that his parents fled a genocidal regime which affected him. The judge also noted that John improved the lives of many, quote-unquote, by being a model prisoner himself. As of 2020, the Supreme Court has changed their ruling on life sentences being handed out to juveniles. The gang members were targeting a patron who was injured, and because of a personal gripe, so many died and so many left behind to mourn. Witnesses told police that a group of 12 to 18 Cambodian young people visited the Trang Dai an hour or so before the shooting. And that was considered unusual because Cambodians tend to frequent Cambodian-oriented bars and did not normally come to Vietnamese Trang Dai. The crime remains one of Tacoma's worst mass slayings, and it is believed to have started from numerous theft events in the Vietnamese community that led to the Trang Dai massacre on July 5, 1998.
Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more mystery.